Hey guys, it's me, Christina. So, I haven't recorded a video in a long time. One, I've been in this giant reading slump, and I'm just finally getting back into the group of things of reading again. And this is the second time I've ever recorded this because I forgot something. And so, I'm just going to get to the one book I read in November, which is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. And I love this book. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It was so good. And it's about this girl named Elena. And there's these people. And they're Grisha. Which is like they're. They have like these different kind of like powers. And like it's just very interesting. And there's all these interesting characters. And it's just so cool. And I really loved it. It was just. And it's very magically written I don't know if that's how you would say it, but it's just very like it just feels very magical when you read it um and I'm still reading Golden Boy by Abigail Tartalian I don't know if that's how you say it. it's about this boy named Max and he is intersex which means he is not all male and not all female and something terrible happens to him and I don't want to give it away but I would say it is a trigger warning so if that gives you in, any indication of what happens it's literally in the first chapter and I was just like so shocked I thought it'd be more I had heard that there was like that in it and and, um, it was literally, like, I think five pages in, and I was just, like, so shocked, and I was just, like, oh my god, and it was by someone who was very close to him. I'm just trying to say this without spoiling. Um, it's just very good, and it's very beautifully written. And I'm reading Let It Snow, and I've been trying to read this book for, like, three years I feel like and I am on page 163 I'm on the second one which is called A Cheotastic Christmas and the first one was so cute it was called um Jula B Express and it's it was just so cute and uh I'm gonna go over the Kindle book I read so I'm reading a a Kindle book which is called Carry the Ocean by Heidi Kakolian and it is a GLBT book I think that's how you would say it and um it is about two boys and one is going through depression and one is autistic and that is something in a book that I've never read before and I think Unless I've read it, like, and I don't remember reading it, um, but I'm very excited to start, like, getting, I'm, like, I think I'm on chapter two, and I'm really loving the writing so far, um, it's so good, and I think it's a new adult, or I, it doesn't say on Goodreads, so I'm pretty sure the way it's written, it's new adult. Um... I'm also reading The Sun is Also a Star by Nicole Yoon, who wrote Everything, Everything, which I loved. It was just, that was like one of my favorite books. And it this is about a girl and a guy. Named, there's the girl, Natasha, and her family is being deported. And then there's Daniel, and he is... Um, like, he's a poet, and it's, like, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm on page 25, and it's just really interesting, and I love Nicola Yoon's writing style, and it's just very good so far. And I'm still reading A Court of Thorns. Not a corn thorns and roses, a corn and mist and fury, and I got paint on it, so I'm very unhappy about that. But at least it's just on the cover, not on like the.
cover cover. And I'm on chapter 17. I haven't read this book in a while, but I'm determined to finish it, like, not this month because it's, like, 500 pages and I have no time for that. Um, I think I'll probably finish it in January. I'm very determined to finish this and Golden Boy by the end of the year. Um, this is Night Film, which I am loving. It's so good. And it's very interesting. I'm on page 271. And this is about, it's like mystery. So, and this is a book that like a lot of people talk about and I had heard about many times. And I found this at Barnes & Noble bargain price for like $6.00. Or was it nine? I can't remember. Um, but I really love it, and the writing is very interesting. And I'm reading it with the audiobook, and the narrator is like very, like, he has a very deep toned voice, and it's really interesting. And it is multimedia, so it has like pictures and like articles in it, which is very interesting. And the only other book I read like that was Miss Peregrine's Home. For peculiar children and that is like not my favorite book I'm gonna put it that way <laughs> and um I'm close to finishing I'm like right in the middle and then there's that much left okay I have three more left so I have the sequel to Shadow and Bone which is Siege and Storm and I actually ended up getting it wet and this is the sequel to Shadow and Bone, so I can't really talk about it, but I am on page 5, which is, I think, chapter 2, I think? No, I'm on chapter 1. I have not even... This is how bad, like, my reading slip has been. I, like, do not even remember. I'm reading with the audiobook also, and I love the narrator. And I have two more books left. <laughs> um... No, after this one, one more. Um, I'm reading Haiki Volume 2, which is a manga series. And I'm watching the anime. I'm on season 3, and there's like one more episode left. Like, it airs Friday, and I'm very excited for it. So I've been, like, I feel like I'm going to go through Haiki withdrawal soon. So I've decided to, like continue reading the manga and I'm on page like 30 and it's like this is like the start of like the first season so it's like really interesting like going back to like all the stuff I I know that's gonna happen but I feel like there's like things that they didn't add in the anime that I'm gonna be really interested in or maybe it's just gonna be all the same I don't know but I'm very interested in knowing what's going to happen. And lastly, I have My True Love Gave to Me by Stephanie Perkins. And, like, there's different authors. Um, I use, like, red and green tabs. And I feel like I'm not going to be able to keep up with that. Um, but um, this is another Christmas collection, kind of like... Let It Snow, but a little different because Let It Snow, like, 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 the stories intertwine. These are, like, different stories. And the first one it was by Rainbow Brow, which I think is my favorite so far. I'm only on the second story. And it's, like, gone from, like, contemporary to kind of, like, fantasy, which is kind of interesting for a Christmas story. And the first one was called Countdown and it's just so cute. I just loved it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. See you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye guys.